You're listening to the AfterBuzz TV Network. Now the largest new media platform on the web and your number one source for after-show entertainment. Very good, on the AfterBuzz Studios in Los Angeles, California, presented by Maria Menunos and Bing.com, and streaming live thanks to Akamai Technologies, this is AfterBuzz TV's The Client List After Show. We'll break down tonight's episode and get you all the latest news and gossip. If you'd like to buzz in on tonight's show, you can buzz us at 424-256-1729. That's 424-256-1729. And now, another post-game wrap-up show for your favorite TV show. It's After Buzz TV's The Client List After Show. What part of no Good evening, AfterBuzzers. We are here at the AfterBuzz TV studios doing crazy things. Always should be done with Bing. I am your host for the evening, David Skifflity, joined, as always, by the lovely and talented Sarah Huggins. Hello. And that song you are listening to right now is called What Part of No? We are here doing the Client List Season 2, Episode 10. It is our episode's title, What Part of No? It's performed by Lori Morgan from the album Watch Me, released December 7th, 1992, and it held the number one position for three weeks on the wow. country charts. Really? And it is Lori Morgan's biggest hit to date. It is? To date. Wow. It has been over a decade. I do like Lori Morgan, And but she can't catch a break. Have you heard of Lori Morgan? No, before? never. Yeah. Hello, her biggest hit was in 1993. <laughs> I mean, you were Never just heard a of small, her. I was just a baby one. in 1993. <laughs> you were just I getting bored. I didn't even speak English yet. Yeah. <laughs> Come on. Of course I haven't heard of Lori Morgan. Last week's was a little more upbeat. It was a lot more fun, I feel like. Last week was Save a Horse, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. We had fun with that one. We did have fun with that one. That's a m much better song. Yeah. Do you think that... I think that this song actually makes more sense for the episode than... Any other? Than, yeah. How so? Think about it. Okay. Let's jump into the episode. So okay. we get a lot of Evan and Shelby this week. Right. We opened up with them naked. Yeah. Rolling sexing around in the up. sheets, sexing it up. And and they're like full on like getting down in a relationship, right? Yeah, like way more I so mean, than anybody else we've seen on the show, really. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Like I feel like it's even more than Riley and Kyle have been. Well, yeah, I mean, they had sex. Riley and Kyle just kissed. Well, they've had sex twice. They have two kids. But, like... <laughs> Who? Riley and Kyle. Oh. Oh, you thought I meant Riley and Evan? Yeah. Yeah, no. <laughs> Sorry, I'm, I'm distracted. No, no, no. no, no. no. They've had sex more than twice. Right, There's obviously. There's some crazy obviously. shit going on outside. Yeah, there is. There's, like, I screaming and, like, what is going on at the AfterBuzz TV studios, I don't you guys? Know. It's more than conducted by zombies. It's more than construction. <laughs> it's more than construction. <laughs> it's very distracting. Yes, it is. Um, sorry. I can't with them. I know. Um, hopefully they'll be quiet soon. Um, but yeah, so they Doubt were it. like full on <laughs> sexing it up. And it's pretty hot, I have to say. I, They're good together. I think you have been saying, you've been preaching for weeks now, ever since she's shown up, that there's no heat between them until last week. When right. They there was the figure eight out. Right. <laughs> hair, flip. hair flip. I'm giving you a demonstration. I've been working at it. Out there. I can't show you, but I've been working Oh, have you? It. Yeah, I have. And I've been practicing. It's does going it hurt good. your neck? It's going good. Any whiplash yet? I mean, not yet. Because I imagine yet. you're going to yeah. hurt, so you're going to pull something. I'm not doing it on a daily basis, but just okay. trying. You probably should do it on a daily yeah. basis to work up those neck muscles. Probably. I mean, that was like the hottest move I've ever seen. <laughs> It was great. But I liked how she was just like, I have to go. Yeah, she's kind of not that into it. She doesn't want to get hurt. She's like, I've grown up with three older brothers. I've always been told to keep guard on myself. Right. And she isn't like the type that's going to stay and snuggle for three hours, you know? Why not? I mean, she spent the night. I know. And they I'm were surprised. sexing it up all night. I know. I feel like she's saying no. And then all of a sudden no. the sun is out. She's like, I gotta go. I'm a vampire. I know. I feel like she's saying no, but I've she means yes. You know, she's not really... 
he it's wants not her a to like no. beg her to right. stay. Right. It's not a firm no. That's some woman logic right yeah. there. Yeah. Yeah. Because she's kind of like, well, we have to go. And then she knows he's going to be like, no, don't go. Because like if he's just like, well, peace out, sister, then he's not that into her. So I feel like it's a little bit of a test. Mm. I don't know. I don't know. That makes sense. Matters of the heart. Or the bad. But I was glad, true. <laughs> I was glad that he grew a backbone this week, Evan. He actually sort of stepped up It was kind of awesome. I yeah. mean, it was nice to see him, like, angry and pissed off at Riley, and he was screaming, like, towards the end of the episode, of course. Right. But he was, like, screaming like he's sick of being treated like a doormat and, like, her right. errand boy. And right. And he is sick of, and he, like, wants to move on with his life. Although he was kind of, like, talking, like, nonsensical to me. Really? He was kind of just like screaming and like throwing things and he's like, I'm sick of her. Well, because she really didn't do anything. I That's didn't... what I'm saying. Like she didn't do much. I mean, yeah, she took matters into her own hands, which we'll get to, but. Yeah, she didn't. She sort of helped him out. Right. And they didn't get into like a huge fight where she was you know, completely walking all over him. It's funny that all. like he... this was the catalyst to make him just go nuts so dramatic about it so and dramatic. Shelby's like well what do you want I know and he's like I want you I know. <laughs> and then they had sex like, again okay <laughs> all right cool yeah they she don't really like, do yeah, much dating sex they do a lot of well, they sex spend thing. the whole day together what do they need to go on dates for I know they work together they're partners that's true aren't they they like share a squad car yeah that's true I and mean, they were getting lunch together I'm sure they do a couple nooners here in town. Now that they've graduated. Now that they've graduated, they can nooner all they want. Yeah, they can. And can she was in very the car. aggressive with him. She's like, for those of you who me. don't know what a nooner is, it's okay. when you have sex in the middle of the day. Oh my gosh. Thank you. Well, there's people out there that don't know that. I know. My mom probably wouldn't know. Yeah. She'd be like, oh, lunch time. <laughs> yeah, you go to lunch at noon. Yeah. You bang it out yeah. till noon 30. 30 minutes, really? Well, you only I mean, get an hour for lunch. That's true. Yeah. That's true. And then you have 30 minutes to get your shit together and have a snack. That's true. All right. I'll give you that. Yeah. They're definitely doing some nooners for sure. Yeah. I mean, I'd like to see that. For sure. But I'm I'm okay with them. I think they're cute-ish. I mean... It's not going to last very long, I don't imagine. No, I don't imagine either. And when... Like, we'll get into the whole thing, but I thought it was interesting that... Does Riley know that Shelby, the girl, like, because she, she saw Shelby this week. I don't think she knows who she is. She okay. knows the name, though. Got it. And right? Because she found out name. last week who the name right. was. Right. Because she came in and was like, the watchman wants to see us, you know, in his office right now. And was, like, super aggressive, Shelby. Um, maybe she... Like, I think I, Shelby I knows who Riley is, Yes, obviously. of course. But I don't think Riley put the two together No, yet. I don't think so either. I thought Yet. it was maybe going to happen, but it yeah. might have been too much for one episode, I guess, for the big reveal. Well, yeah, there, I mean, there was a lot happening. Right, and especially in that moment. This week. So let's talk about the attack. But you know what is not happening a lot what? of? We're not getting a lot of iTunes comments. Not iTunes comments. We get a we lot, get a of, lot of, YouTube of YouTube comments. comments, and we love them. We, yeah. We have a, oh, a, Miss Martha, I love your comments. They're so funny. I love them. <laughs> so at Miss Martha, thank you yeah, for commenting on great. YouTube. But Lots do us people. here a favor. We love your YouTube comments, but please, please, please go on to iTunes after you watch us on YouTube. Co feel free to comment on YouTube as well, but go on to iTunes, comment, right. rate, Tell a friend, subscribe, download, do as you do, but please leave us comments on iTunes as well. It really helps us out here at AfterBuzz, yeah. us specifically. Sarah, I'm not Sarah, I'm pointing at myself. <laughs> Sarah and David. David. Sarah and David, <laughs> it helps them a lot. It helps them a lot. And we like, and we like to read them. And we They're love fun. reading them. Yeah, They're the so highlight much fun of our weeks. Yes. Yeah, the highlight. <laughs> They're super fun. I mean, I love getting <laughs> feedback from our frenzies. Yeah, no, I like it. I like it. If there's things you want us to talk about, if there's things you don't want us to talk about, tell us. If there's things you want us to wear, if there's things you don't want us David to wear. David looks super adorable today and he won't even let me take a picture of him. I'm He's wearing I'm suspenders. I'm having like a, a great Gatsby moment. Oh yeah, I watched, very cute. Um, I saw the movie last night. That has nothing to do with what we're talking about today. Right. But, but it, I feel like it that's why I wanted fashion. to wear suspenders. Yeah, it looks great. Thanks. It looks great. All right, so can we talk about the attack? Your thoughts? Yes, let's talk about the bulk of our episode, right. which was 
the aftermath. Lacey's attack. Right. The aftermath. The aftermath of the attack. Or the afterbirth. Oh, oh that too was soon. mean. Too soon. <laughs> so Lacey's at the curl up and dry, and they have a client who wants... Inez. Inez. She wants Lynette's hair color, <laughs> which is apparently medium... Bleach. Medium bleach. <laughs> Sounds so good. Sounds delicious. <laughs> and this woman wants her hair color, so what's her face calls Lynette. And Lynette's like, I don't know, but I have some under my the sink at Riley's house. So clearly she's also a klepto. Right. right. Not only is she a drunk and a pill popper, but Lynette is a klepto. And she's moved uh, all the stuff to Riley's house since Yes. <laughs> does she live with Riley? I guess she does now, only because of the accident, but did she just give up her place? She gave up on life and is like, I'm moving in. <laughs> She's like, screw this. Screw this. I don't want to live in assisted living anymore. Yeah. I'm moving in with you, Riley. <laughs> well, she's still at rehab. I, God, the longest rehab ever. <laughs> That's true, if you're talking clientless time. She's only been in, I think, like three weeks, our time. But, yeah. But clientless time, she's been in there like... Two Six years. months. Yeah, exactly. I mean, she might as well just move into the right. rehab center. For she all seems I'm quite bored as well. well. She only plays solitaire. That's why. Yeah, I wish they would maybe do some. Maybe she could meet like some hot guy in rehab or something. Mm. You know, I don't know if they're gonna do anything like that. That would be interesting. I yeah. mean, I really don't care. Yeah. Yeah, I guess not. It it is what it is. It so. is what it is. I mean, we're focusing on all the other characters right now that it's hard to even get Lynette in there. Right. So she had her one point. shining so she moment. She had a week. moment where she tells them to go get the hair color from underneath the, the sink at Riley's house. So Lacey goes to Riley's house, and there's a man there breaking in, and she, like, pulls out a tiny little pocket knife. I know. <laughs> Poor thing. From her purse, which I was a little so shocked that she carries... Right. Like a switchblade. Right. Like a mini it switchblade. Texas. In her purse. Right. Did, when you were in Texas, did you carry a switchblade? No, I did not. Do you have a switchblade now? No, I do not. Do but you I have know mace lots of people. Or who, anything? No, but I know well, a lot of people who that's do. That's what I'm saying. Really? Yeah, yeah like it will here especially. Like lots of my friends work at restaurants and things like that and like walk home late at night. Yeah. I know a lot of people with like mace on their keychain. I've never felt the need to do that, but. Me neither. I mean, maybe. I mean, maybe I should. <laughs> yeah. Knock on wood. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, I mean, she. I wasn't surprised that she had a weapon, but it was it was. was barely a weapon. All right, it was barely a weapon. But either way, <laughs> she had a weapon, and the guy, like, charges at her like a rhino. Yeah. And, like, she goes, I, for what it looked like to me, he barely touched her. <laughs> right. And, and she, she went flying over. across the room over a chair onto <laughs> right. the floor. Right. She gets up and is running after him. He gets in his car, his dirty car. Needs a car wash. Irrelevant. Right. <laughs> well, I want to know, too, do you think that was a stunt double, or do you think Rebecca took that fall? That was a pretty rough... Uh, it um, looked like a stunt double to me, even when she got up and started running. Okay. The hair color looked we'll a little different. We'll have to find out, Rebecca. Let us know. Yes, please. Tweet Did you us. Do that? Yeah. Tweet us. Um, um, go ahead. But she gets up, and she runs after this guy. I don't know what she thought she was going to do in the dirty right. car. He gets in his car, and he's driving off. She calls the police, and then all of a sudden... Collapses. It's like blinding pain in her stomach area. Right. And she is... Doubled over. Doubled over on the floor, screaming, Somebody help me! I know. Somebody help me! Well, and... I mean, I, I think I think it was believable as far as well. We find out that Lacey well, we find out Lacey's pregnant. pregnant. Yeah. Right. Okay. I. You're a man, so go ahead. What do you mean? What do you like? What were you gonna, just go ahead and say what you're going to say? To me, pregnant or not, it just doesn't seem that it would cause that much pain. Pain. Granted, I've never been pregnant. Right. And I've only had a couple friends who have been pregnant. But I imagine, like, pregnant ladies fall all the time. I mean, I don't know. I, I've, I've never been pregnant. Because I, even Thank not God. pregnant, <laughs> um, I, like, 
trip and stuff like that and but i have had like ovarian take cysts. a spill no but i mean it it can be the to the point where you are like doubled over in pain though like especially if like i've only had like a cyst and i was barely able to walk so i mean i can only imagine like if you fall in just the right place you know i i can imagine that it's probably it pretty painful things up. yeah yeah i mean it's not I feel like in almost every show, and especially soap operas, they always like lose the baby in some kind of. Well, I guess this is slip technically and fall. like a nighttime soap. Right, like a slip and fall type situation, and they had something similar happen on Downton Abbey, where she slipped and fell and lost the baby. Yeah, lost the baby. So at the park, you know, it happens. I guess <laughs> yeah. I, I don't know anyone that it's happened to, but it happens Never. on television a lot. It does happen on TV a lot. People are constantly losing their babies. Yeah, but she didn't actually lose it right away. No, she did not, which, which was, was interesting. interesting. So she goes to the hospital and they tell her everything's fine. And she has to stay in for a couple of days. Um, which, speaking of nighttime soaps, Lacey has a favorite soap called Brothers and Lovers. Right, which, which I mean, is... strangely little... enough, mimics Riley's life to a T. Right. Except for the fact that one of the brothers is always wearing a Speedo and the other one's apparently a priest. <laughs> right. It's very silly. So, very silly, but it mimics her life to a, Riley's life to yeah. a T. And she loves it and she watches it with Dale. Yeah. They're very cute. Which is very cute this He's week. He's a very nice little but supportive while husband. He was. He was a really awesome husband yeah. this week. He like stayed with her the entire time. He never left. Right. He was constantly wearing the same thing. Yeah. Until one point he was like, I'm gonna leave and go take a shower. <laughs> and she was like, Good, because you stink. Yeah. He wasn't like, I gotta go to work. See you, sister. Yeah. And yeah. he was equally as disappointed. Disappointed and distressed by the fact that they lost the baby. Because right. they do in fact lose the baby. Right. Um which that I feel like is a more believable like you're fine everything's going okay and then right after a few days of being sedentary something goes wrong and especially if you were having trouble conceiving and i know a right. lot of people oh, yeah there's that in my life that have done you know various methods of getting pregnant like in vitro and things like that and they you know i think Especially in those first few months, it's very Touch like you and go. don't tell. Yeah, you don't tell people because you just never know. Like you can miscarry any you know, day, three or four times, right before it actually takes. Takes, yeah. Yeah. So I mean, I, I was sad. I was happy to see that Lacey and Dale finally I predicted were that. pregnant. Boom. Yes, mm -hmm. they were finally pregnant, having a baby. I, we don't know how they got pregnant. Right. Well, they did say they were doing fertility stuff and seeing specialists. Yes, so. but, we, but they sort of dropped that right. a while back, and I sort of forgot about it. Yeah, I wonder if it's going to be more prevalent now, like if she's going to be like, because you probably have to wait. I don't know that much about it, but you probably have to wait, right? Like after you miscarried. Probably like six weeks at least. Right, in order to. I mean, the same thing, like after you give birth, you have to wait six weeks before you can bang it out again. Right, right. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Good times. Six weeks before you get. Um, I was gonna say <laughs> it's something a month else and about a half. the oh uh, the return of Ginger of No sex. Um, so we I, will get there. No, well we're talking about the attack, so that's kind well, of we are talking about the attack, but I feel like it's not important. Okay, all right, all right. So they after she loses the baby riley's like i'm gonna find out who did this and make them pay and <laughs> well she does she decides that it's like it's her family and she's gonna do what she has to do right to make things right she's renegade rambo style um, renegade riley yeah and storms in to the police station <laughs> which i'm surprised she didn't get arrested for doing <laughs> right she was a woman on a mission. Acting like a crazy person, mm -hmm. screaming at Evan. You love when she acts like a crazy person, though. I do love when she <laughs> acts like a crazy person because I feel like she's a real person then. Right. Because I feel like more people are, like, running around Lose being... Lose their shit. Oh, I mean, stop. Yeah. I said <laughs> shit ten okay. times. Okay, yeah. all right, all right. Um... I feel like normal people are running around losing their shit all the time. Right. And not acting like these, like, seductress, vampy women. Right. Like she does all the time. Yeah, I mean, she did storm in there like batshit crazy, just like, yeah. ah! you know, like. <laughs> and then print something from the right. police computers. Right. <laughs> and did it, I mean, like a pro. It was just like. It was just like. You know, boom. Click. Yep. Oh. Oh, that's got my it. sheet. Right. Stuff it in my bra. Well, and I love Walk out. 
she was like, why haven't you guys done anything? Doily. And, yeah. Walk out doily. I love how she held Evan solely responsible for the capture of this man. I know, right? <laughs> She's like, you need to get on this already and figure this out. Right. It's your responsibility. He's been on, been on the force for a week. <laughs> right. And he's like, I don't know. I'm just, you know, filing papers. <laughs> he does, like, act really, like, submissive with her, I have to say. He's he does. Very, he takes like, a step back <laughs> because he was in love with her. I know. But with Shelby, he's not like that. He's not as much no, of a No, because they were a weenie. in a Sexual. boot camp together. Oh, yeah, that's true. And we got to see her as, like, a... A warrior lady. A badass. Yeah. Biatch. Mm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. totally. It's a, it's like the difference between like dating Xena, mm -hmm. warrior princess. And then who's your other one? And Rapunzel. Oh, okay. Okay, that's a good one. It's good. Okay. Well, that was when. Or like Sleeping Beauty, like or Snow White, one that's of the Disney true. princesses. True. Very innocent and yeah. sweet. Well, not that innocent. Obviously. Not that innocent now, but you appears know. to be. Yes. So that was when Shelby came in and was like, the Watchman wants to see us. <laughs> and I thought, like. I don't even know who the Watchman is. I know. I think it's their, I mean, obviously it's their boss. Uh, but the isn't watchman. that like a chief or something? I don't know. Yeah. Whatever. Police chief. Right? Not police watchman. And like a neighbor, like I feel like a neighborhood watchman is like someone that's like appointed, you know, just like a. A figurehead. Right, right. Weird. I don't know. Not like if a real you're on the local person, police force, please, please let, let us, let us know. know. Because clearly we have no idea what we're talking about. <laughs> yeah, we probably should get educated about that. Um, educated, schmeducated. Yeah, what else? Had 80, 100 years of school. But so, true. Too much. So she prints it out and... She prints it out and gives it to Georgia. Georgia. And Georgia's like, I'm not promising you anything. Well, first of all... But <laughs> I'm going to make some calls. That's First how she of, talks. I know. That was a really good I'll impression. I'll figure this out for you, baby. <laughs> That's a really good impression. Thanks. First of all, though, she goes straight gangster and gives Riley right off the bat, like, no question. A gun. Asked, She's like, a gun. girl, you need a gun. <laughs> That's when she got super black and super hood. Super girl, you need black. a gun. She's like, here you go. <laughs> and Riley's like, oh, my God, I have two kids. I can't have a gun. <laughs> Kid, of course they gave the black lady a gun. Yeah, of course. She carries one just all the time. Oh, yeah. I mean, that's just... <laughs> I mean, I know I have a gun in my, my purse. I can't. I can't. Like, I've only held a gun once, and it was, like, the scariest. I mean, imagine having a gun in your purse, and, like, you're getting attacked, and you're, like, fumbling around your <laughs> bag through all your crap looking for your gun. Right. First of all, like, I, oh, I don't think I would be able to ever even shoot someone. Like, even if I was being attacked, I feel like... Well, I mean, I feel like you don't even have to shoot it. It's more of, like, an intimidation thing. You, that's like, pull true. it out, and you're like, bam! Boom. Farrah Fawcett, like, Charlie's I Angel style. I would shoot you, but... I know, but what if they then pull out a bigger gun? Right. <laughs> and then really use it. And then really shoot you. So thankfully, she gives it back. Guns are bad. Don't know what Georgia is going to be doing with her gun, but clearly she feels like she needs it. Hey. Yeah. When you're a pretty lady. Oh, yeah, that's true. You work in a bar. Yeah. I'm not condoning weaponry. Or in a massage parlor. You never know. You never know. Gotta need it. Gotta, gotta have it. I said uh, take some self-defense classes. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. And the chances of that person coming back, well, they didn't quite know what was going on. So, like, No, Riley because they found out early on that... It wasn't a random attack, and he was there for something specific, and Riley's like, he's there for the list. I know he's there oh for the list. God. And George is like, I don't know what you're talking about. What list? I never heard of <laughs> this. This mister, he might as well be telling the tall tales for all I'm concerned. Right. And, and then she makes a call to the district attorney, finds his address, Riley which decides, the police can't seem to find. Right. Well, because they found his last known address, but he's staying with a friend, apparently. Well, I mean, I guess he must have been arrested at some point and was now out on parole or whatever, squatting, squatting with somebody, who knows. But and she goes by herself. She goes by herself. <laughs> she's watching him, and he's getting ready to leave, and she's like, oh, no, you're not leaving. <laughs> she pulls off her shirt. That was my favorite part of the whole episode, by the way. Pulls off her, takes off her jacket, pulls off her shirt, and what does she have underneath? Like a bustier. A corset. bustier. Yeah. Because I know many ladies who walk <laughs> around wearing bustier corsets Obviously. under T-shirts. Yeah. And she, and I think it was a one piece too. I think the yeah. top was attached to the right. bottom. It was like, like a, a bustier yeah. <laughs> cat suit. Right. Michelle well, Pfeiffer maybe style. Maybe it was from work, you know? I don't know. She, you never know where you're going to need it. <laughs> what? I don't know. <laughs> no. 
But she whips it out and she goes full prostitute. I wrote that down. I mean, you wrote full, full prostitute. I mean, almost. She was like, she was what? like touchy and flirty, yeah. and she, she was, was like unbuttoning, rubbing his... her boobies. Yeah, she did. She did. She rubbed. And like she this. was like, yeah, and she was. I'm rubbing my boobies yeah. for those of you who are listening, not watching. <laughs> and she was suggesting, like, why don't we, you know. Get out of here. She's like, you're the right, you're the man, you're the kind of man I'm looking for. Yeah, Show I thought, good I was like, how far is this going to go? I know, girlfriend. I was waiting for him to be like, okay, let's get in the back of my Camaro. Right. What was it? It was a Cadillac. Yeah. Let's get in the back of my caddy. And he was resistant, and he was like, I have to go, blah, blah, blah. And she had already called Evan, who, of course, brings, you know, his... His mate. I was about to say ho bag. His, <laughs> his partner. His partner, girlfriend. His partner in crime. <laughs> yeah. Bam, I got All jokes. All kinds of crimes. I got jokes. Oh, you're so funny. Partner in Love crime. comedians, by the way. I hate you. Um, I hate you too. <laughs> um, and they, like, before he leaves, she's like, you're not going anywhere, dirtbag, because he, he hears the the police sirens, and she throws a hot cup of coffee oh, right. in like his lap. Oh, right, like a hot cup which, of coffee. Where did that coffee even come from? Because she didn't get out of the car with coffee. No, I, I know. I would be curious. We should have rewound that. I'm yeah, it's like all of a sudden. All she's of a sudden, like, she's got a hot, oh, scalding yeah. cup of coffee in yeah. her hands, and she throws it in his lap, and he backs up into a, a dumpster. Yeah. And then they're able to cap. They caught him, right? And they then didn't they show catch that. Yeah, they yeah. Didn't, they didn't no, they like, did. They were like, get out of your hands on the wheel. Oh, hands right. On the wheel, get out of the car, or whatever. Right. I saw that. Right. That's true. So they definitely caught him. Yeah. But we didn't quite, we didn't find out exactly what he was there for, correct? Not to my knowledge. No, we did not find out what he was looking for, but it did look like at the end of the episode where Riley w went back to, um, what is that place called? Mendocino Farms? Harold Bar? <laughs> Brixton Ranch. Where's that? Where she hid the client list. Oh, you remember the name of that place? I wrote it down. Wow, that's pretty good. Um, I wrote it down. I know, and someone was watching her. And someone's watching her with night vision goggles. Right. And Creepy. I was kind of shocked and amazed at how she remembered where she buried it. Right, exactly the In spot. In the middle of the night. Right. She's like, I go into Brixton Ranch, 20 paces to the left, Yeah. 15 paces to the right. And it's there. And she was like straight hood too. She had like a hat on. And, and she like oh, one yeah. shovel full out, and it's revealed. Right. So she didn't bury it that deep. Did she take it with her though? It and they didn't show. No, us. they did not show that. That I believe is the beginning of next week's episode. Right. So she just looked at it and was like, "Oh, good, it's still here. Great." I mean, it probably if she didn't leave Clearly, it, it's gonna be gone. <laughs> you need to take it and burn it, woman. Right. A little piece of advice for you, Riley Parks. Right. At Riley Parks Or like 82. back it up online or something. I don't know. Back it up online in your iCloud. Right. I mean, something, use code names or something, right? Yeah, that's a better idea. I mean, put everyone in your cell phone and have them as favorites. Right. Right, Maybe. and I mean, do they even need to call these people? Don't they call them? That's true, right? Like it's not like they're gonna all of a sudden be like, "Wow, we really need business. Let's call these Let's guys." Let's call these guys. I Let's really want to get my handy baton. this week. It's been a while. Yeah, like <laughs> I feel like they make their own appointments, right? Weekly. I mean, they're there a lot. That's true. Why do they need? Why do their they even need them written down with their phone numbers? I guess so. If I think that it's because if they go down, if the rub goes down, the client list goes, goes down, down too. with them, right? So, Which is like a little Heidi Fleiss, right? So then, you know, that would be the only reason why they need their information. Was Jennifer Love Hewitt in the Heidi Fleiss movie? No, that would have been, like, amazing. Who, Who was that? I for Oh, Jamie Lynn Sigler, I think. Oh, was. that makes sense. Yeah. She would have been totally good. She would have been Fleiss. awesome. Yeah, she would have been awesome. I saw Heidi Fleiss at the grocery store once. I was like, wow. Like, no one, no one <laughs> cared, but I was like, oh, my gosh, that's so cool. Oh my god, we should have her on the show. <laughs> what grocery store? Uh, the Gelson's at. A, it was when she was doing that sober house. Um, it was oh. the Gelson's um, at Bronson and Franklin. Yes. Like you know, in that I area. I know it well. In the sober house that they usually. Well, I don't think they do sober house anymore. No. But it was there, um, up, like up that street. So she was there. That is so funny. Yeah, it was really funny. I love Heidi um, Me too. Um, so 
But there was a brief moment in time where we thought ginger meatloaf had something to do with. <laughs> we thought there was a return of <laughs> the ginger meatloaf. Return. There was a brief return of the ginger we meatloaf. We saw him, saw and him. And he spoke. He spoke. And he spoke. And what's his face? Kyle. Kyle. Went straight like, hood on him for sure. Choked him out. <laughs> with a knife. Like, he didn't have a knife. Yes, he did. It was just his arm. His, it was? like, forearm. I thought he had a knife. And his bicep. He was just like, me. Oh. Squish your neck. Oh. Well, he was, like, hiding in the back of Ginger Meat Loaf's car. I got no. way too excited. Obviously, I thought he had a knife. He didn't. No. Um, I got way too excited when I saw Ginger Meat Loaf. I was like, oh, my God. <laughs> and Kyle was like, ah, don't attack my family. And he's like, I didn't. I'll see you in court. Yeah. Bam. Boom. So, but he still could have had something to do with it. Do you think he did? Well, I don't know. I mean, the two could have been unrelated. The guy okay. watching, whoever's watching Riley could have been unrelated to whoever broke into the house. That's true. That's a good point. Those two things could be unrelated. And we still don't know if those storylines are going to get wrapped up and when. Right. Because we still don't know who Kyle's accomplice is or even right. have any clues about that. And this week, they didn't focus on it whatsoever. Not at all. Mm -mm. Because they were focusing on Lacey and the break-in. And right. Riley being a, a woman of... Her own means. Right, right. She even said it this week, I'm not the same girl that you married. No kids this week. Thank goodness. Thank goodness. I'm sick of those kids. Me too. <laughs> no, where's Mima? Where's Daddy? Enough. Get over yourselves. Yeah. <laughs> Chalk it up. Everyone in your life's a drunk. Um, I thought and something... a drug addict. Get over it. <laughs> I thought something Time more... Time to start smoking. Runs in the family. <laughs> uh, I thought something more was going to happen with um, Riley and Kyle's date. So Kyle takes it Riley a on a date. It was a very cute date. It was, but she turned off her phone, and I was like, oh, no. You know, she turned off her phone. Well, of course she turned off her phone. Well, right. So I thought, though, like, something crazy was going to happen. I mean, Lacey did end up in the hospital up? or whatever. I don't know. I just thought something was going to happen at the rub or something, uh, and they would need to call her. Oh, uh, yeah, that could have happened. You know. It but didn't. It didn't, but they but were they cute. they had a very cute date. She asked him to stay over at the end of the episode and yeah. gives him that big smooch. yeah. And he's sexy. I'm fine with it. And it looks like they're really repairing things. He's trying really hard. He took her on a really romantic old date, horseback right. riding. Right. Which, which was like one of their things cute. that they did. Yeah. It was really cute. I, I'm Love okay. That. I'm I'm team that can work out. Are you? Yeah. Or what mm -hmm. about you? Mm -hmm. I like. Yeah. You're like fine them. with it? I'm fine with it. But if they work out and then Evan and Shelby work out and Lacey and Dale have a kid... <laughs> Then it's like too then like what kumbaya for you. It's like happening. Yeah. And then Lynette sure. gets out of rehab. I mean Then Lynette's then what? gonna then need then a love the show's interest. over. Then Lynette has an affair with a younger man. Then we're just watching Riley give handies, which we almost saw one this week, I, I think know. for the first time. Yes. I was very with excited big forehead about that. guy. Yeah, yeah, big forehead guy for He's sure. A huge forehead. Yeah, he was not cute. Um and what was up with like the love of his life? Her name was Penny. I don't Penny. know. I, don't I know. really was not into that storyline at all. No, but I was like, whoa. I mean, that's probably as far as they could go. Well, they probably could have shown her going up and down. They could have like, shown her hand go down it. Right. But I was like, whoa. And it could have been a hand double. Like, I know. It didn't even have to be Jennifer Love Hewitt. It was a little bit of a tease. Yeah. I thought it was her. It wasn't that close to the, the goods. I bet you it wasn't her. You do? Yeah, I bet you anything it was a hand How double. How much do you want to bet? A hand double? Yeah, people do Wouldn't that be funny like that? if I was like, spoiler alert, I was a hand double this week. Except if you were the hand double, you would have gone for it. <laughs> you really think they would? <laughs> no, I wouldn't know. You would have been like, oops, touched it. <laughs> oh, I'm not supposed to touch it? Whoops. Let's do that again. Oops, touched it. Oh, crap. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> They're like, take Oops, 86. I rubbed it. You really think they would have needed a hand double? <laughs> Out of all the people on the set, they wouldn't have just used, like, a PA or something? Like, put your hand here. That's a hand double. I think Jennifer Love Hewitt did it. I don't. Let us know. <laughs> I don't. If you did it. Um, I do. It wasn't that close. It wasn't. I know. I'm not saying that. That's like a pickup shot. They don't even need her there for that. Yeah, that's true. Could have been anyone's hand. Could have been anybody. Now I want to go back and look at that again. I know. See the nails and stuff. Hmm. Interesting. Look at it. Check Good it out. Good observation. Thank you. Let us know if you know, if you were the hand double. Oh, if you <laughs> were the hand double on the client list. I want that job. That's awesome. We need you here at After Buzz TV. Yeah, we do. 
Next so I want to know what other hand doubling you're doing. Oh, yeah. Good call. Right? Yeah. Because how fun of a job would that be? That <laughs> that would be a good job. <laughs> that would be a good job. Hand double for Jedlo. <laughs> Does she do everything strictly for, or, well, yeah, it would be a girl. Does she do everything strictly for? It have to be. Yeah. Like, obviously, it's like a man hand. You're like, Wait, what? <laughs> what's happening? Well, Megan Fox's hand double would be a man hand. <laughs> She just has weird thumbs. Yeah, she has the weird thumbs. I, I remember. Um, so, oh, so that's and pretty speaking much. Speaking of love, no, that yeah. is not pretty much the episode. No, Nikki, I Selena, know it's not and episode. Derek <laughs> are getting into some sexy three way action here. Not in the way that we all hoped. First of all, can I just say that Nikki, at the beginning of the episode, we find out she eats chili dogs, which I was shocked by a stripper and a prostitute that eats chili, chili dogs. dogs. On the rag. She's no longer either of those things. Now she is. Well, she's a prostitute. A sorta. hand job giver. Well, she's never boned down. We don't know that. We don't know that. So. But I don't think she has. Yeah, that's true. I guess you can eat whatever you want when you're just giving hand jobs. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Good to know. <laughs> yeah. You can eat whatever you want when you're only giving hand jobs. So she is single white femaleing Selena at the I beginning. I don't really think so. Okay, so she buys so. the purse, one of the purses that Selena put up right. for sale, the Last Maramico week. purse. Right. Maramico Vuitton. Well, and she, but she has always been kind of after Derek. And I don't know if it's because he's the only man around it, or. Probably. Right? I mean, I he's mean, very cute, but, you know, why does she want Selena's sloppy seconds is what I want to know. Well, I mean, I feel like they both were talking about it before Selena got him first. Right. She's clearly the more aggressive one. Yes. And so Nikki, now that they're not a thing. Not fun buddies anymore. Not fun buddies anymore. She's like, all right, it's my time for yeah. a ride on the roller coaster. Yeah. And Derek was not opposed. I not mean, at all, because no. Selena's not her fun buddy anymore. She doesn't want anything to do with him. No. So he gives her some love bites all over her neck. Yeah. And Nikki's so proud of it. She's like, look what I got on my neck. Now that you ask, <laughs> I'm going to show you on my neck I got some love bites. I mean, that's like purpose. Like, I mean, the fact that he did that. That's ghetto. Okay. Right. It's a little, you know. When someone's sucking on your neck, you're like, all right, you need to stop because I have a job. Right. It takes it takes and you need a to lot not... of force and, you know, a lot of time in that area. And for she that had to like happen. five of them yeah. all next to each other on her neck. And she was trying to wear an... A very ugly skirt or scarf. Scarf, green skirt. scarf. A skirt to cover it. God. Scarf to cover it. And yeah, Selena completely called her out. And Nikki was, yeah, she was showing him off. It was like super prideful. She was yeah, like, she's hey, like, yeah, hey, look, look at, at this. these. Look at my love bites. <laughs> you want to take a snack off my neck? And they got in a That's serious slut. girl fight. I they mean, did. it was they did. loud and. They did. Kind of hot, yeah. Fighting over Derek. Yeah. Tw I mean, twice. They almost, I mean, the purse was like always the catalyst and then <laughs> kind of spun out. Purse. I know. And so then at the end. I'm confused. Did she eat a chili dog out of the purse? Well, right. Or just like near the purse? And then it got like, it smelled like, I don't know, because Selena was like, it smells like chili. I'm so and confused. It's like, did you drip it on the purse? Like, <laughs> did I don't you know eat it out of it? Yeah. Like, yeah. what are you doing with your handbag? Right. <laughs> that's a very specific smell, too. I don't know it if I'd is. know. I'd, I don't know if I'd be like, oh, that's definitely a chili smell. Well, I think I would. You would? Yeah. Well, I But mean, I wouldn't know that it was a chili dog. Right, right. <laughs> well, she definitely specified. Yeah. Um, but, but then at the end, she... Nikki sells the purse. Right. To Derek. Right. And then gives it to Selena. Well, he said it was for his mom. He told Nikki it was for his mom. You don't think it was really for his mom? He handed it to Selena. I know, and he's like, oh, what she doesn't know doesn't hurt her. So. Yeah, no, he bought it for Selena. He did? Break. Yeah, he wants to be with Selena. Aw, he loves Selena. That's cute. Yeah. That's cute. They can have, like, four babies together. Yeah. I like that. Who then grow up sweet. to give hand jobs up the rub. Well, then he probably needs to be like, look, Nikki, like, you're nice, but. And I enjoyed riding you. Right. Well, did he have sex like with her? The whore that you are. Did he have sex with her? She got naked and went into the shower. I know, she was but. Like, Wash my back. I know. It's like, gross. <laughs> no, thank you. Yeah, here's a loofah. <laughs> yeah. That'd be funny. He like throws a loofah <laughs> at her, like, whoop. Here you go. You might need this, sister. 
Um, and they must have done it in the shower. Well, I don't know. Did they have sex? That's like Where a question. Where did she get the love bites? Well, just because you have love bites doesn't mean it's not like she there went was penetration. Home and like, they could have made out. Did you not say penetration? <laughs> I mean, I feel like that's a PC word. We can use that. Right? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> you really think that they didn't have sex, but they got naked together? How do you know they got naked? Just because she went picky? to the shower. Yeah, naked. but that doesn't mean he went with her. He looked like he was going with her. He didn't get up. I don't know. I feel like they made Not out. Not you saw. <laughs> True. <laughs> True. Sexual pun. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I feel. <laughs> I like calling them out. I guess they <laughs> did, but I wish they would have shown it. I mean, they might have just made out and. They never show maybe sexy times. Maybe went, you know, did some PG thirteen stuff. Naked. Yeah, I mean, I I can't do it, but I know a lot of people who can. Get naked and do PG-13 stuff? Well, I mean, what's your idea of PG-13? What's your idea of PG-13? Don't get mad at us, Marissa. <laughs> I want to know. What's your idea of PG-13? Well, because if it's... Completely nude. No. Because already that's R-rated to me. It is? Yeah. Okay, sorry. So I should have said R-rated. Well, because do they do, like... Well, it's NC-17 now, I guess, if you are... But I thought that would be completely naked, no? Mm -mm. I don't know. There's finally okay, fine. So PG thirteen stuff isn't it isn't I think they did stuff but not have sex. I'll just say that. I'd like to know what. But, I'll, <laughs> but I'll, I'll, I'm just saying. There's other things you can do besides penetration, since we're gonna go with that word. Right? Yeah, but even oral sex is sex. Okay, well, I don't consider... I consider oral sex something different than the, What do you consider sex. it? I mean, Foreplay? Like, they hooked up, yeah. I mean, they hooked up, because I think. Because the word sex is in it. I know, I know. And one can argue that that's more intimate than... I know. We're waiting <laughs> until to wrap it up. We like talking about sex. I know. Whenever we get, talk about sex, we always get told to wrap it up. That's why I said don't get mad. <laughs> um, okay. <laughs> Um, Whatever, they had right. sex, they didn't have sex. Someone's we don't mad. Know. Let us we don't know. know. What you think. Let us Did know what you think. think. Was there or wasn't there? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. On that note. All right. News and let's gossip. Let's jump into news and gossip. Okay. After <laughs> like super news. ready. Okay. Um, Jennifer Love Hewitt was number six on this year's Maxim's Hot 100 list. Which is bull. I yeah. mean, yes, it's great. Number six, awesome. Yeah, round of applause. But tell them who number one was. Okay, number one is Miley Cyrus. I was shocked. Miley Cyrus. Oh, hell to the knob. Yeah, exactly. That's what I'm talking about. Like, when I think of Maxim's Hot 100, okay, so the top, the five that were before Jennifer were Miley Cyrus, Selena Gomez, Rihanna, Mila Kunis, and Jennifer Lawrence. And while I think Jennifer Lawrence is a beautiful woman, I don't think she oozes... Sexy. I don't either. Rihanna and Mila Kunis, totally on board with. Selena and Miley Cyrus, that is like, I, I just want to know. When was Miley Cyrus even on the cover of Maxim? I don't think you I have think it to was have been like, on the cover. Really? Do you, you just have to have been in it? I think so, but like. I don't see it. I wonder what they base this on because I'm just like, I don't know anybody who would be like, Miley Cyrus is the number one like sexiest I woman. Mean, clearly, Miley Cyrus like went to Twitter and was like, clearly something happened, right? Hey, Twitter fans, you need to vote for me. Made a call. I and mean, Jennifer is way, like, she should be number one above those. But anyway, and she's going to be on um, Conan O'Brien tomorrow. So uh -oh. we will talk about that next week. So yes, who knows will. what they will talk about, which is super exciting. Last or what year she'll they wear. Talked about the Jazzling. The Jazzling. So maybe they'll do an update on that. And maybe see she'll that's bring still Conan happening. some Jazzling. Yes. His own personal. Uh, what would you even call it? Penazzling. Okay, I was going to go with a different word, but yeah, penazzling okay. is good. <laughs> what word? Just uh, say it. No. Okay. Wenazzling. <laughs> Wenazzling. Um, and then... Oh, I wasn't going to say wiener. Oh, okay. And then... <laughs> Uh, I was just gonna wiener, say wiener, wiener. <laughs> the the ring pops do have breaking news. The ring breaking pops news here on After Buzz TV. Have a song on iTunes. It's called Shake a Tail Feather. So we have to buy that. We have to buy it, and so do you. Yeah, and so do you because they're kind of a big deal. They are a big deal. They have, yeah. a, they have a Twitter. 
Yeah, they do have a drummer. Okay. So that means you're a big deal. That means you are For a sure. big deal. I don't know deal. if it's official or not, but. Whatever. Um, that's all I have. Do you have anything? I do Oh, not. wait, I have something to say. Okay, so a correction. Last week, I said that the highest ratings that the client list has gotten so far was on the Indecent Proposal episode, the big uh -huh. $50,000 episode. It was actually Heaven's Just a Sin Away, the one where Loretta Devine sang and all that jazz. Shame on you. I know. I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to misspeak, but that was the <laughs> But it correct. has been corrected. It has been corrected now. For those of you who were concerned. Right. I was concerned. I don't like to be wrong. I know. I'm just saying. Okay. Anyway, so that's all And I that's have. your After Buzz TV news and gossip for the week of May 13th, 2013. <laughs> Prediction. Prediction. <laughs> <laughs> and now, your After Buzz TV so, okay, so I got nothing from that promo. I was just about to Absolutely say. Absolutely nothing. It was moving got, too quickly. All I got was Riley has pigtails, which was super cute. And she has to testify for the DA, and she's under arrest with Taylor? No, someone is under arrest. They put their hands up. They're just like, And she smashed a car under window. Arrest. Yeah, I saw that. But, right, it doesn't really make sense, though, that she, what would she be under arrest for? Smashing, Smashing car someone's window? car window. Oh. <coughs> True. Whose car window do you think it is? Taylor's ex-husband. Oh, that's a good call. That's a really good prediction. Um, Thank you. I feel like I'm trying to think. I got nothing. I really have nothing. I know. I don't know. I feel like now, yeah, I can't say anything about Lacey and Dale and the baby because clearly. There's no baby. There's no baby. And, uh, yeah, I don't know. I, I, I don't know. I'm... I'm at a loss. I'm at a loss also. I'm at a loss. <laughs> I'm at a loss also. I do like how they, they do their promos, like, very... Like, do you watch Mad Men? No. Oh. Well, Mad Men, like, when they're, like, next week on Mad Men, like, literally, it's just flashes from, like, the next week, but you have no clue what's happening Yeah. the next week, and that's pretty much... I feel like that's a majority of the time the client list does the same thing. Yeah, I agree. Which is kind of Great. fun. Yeah. Keeps you guessing. I like to know what's so going we'll on. See. You do? <laughs> Read the spoilers. I might. All right. All right. Well, that was fun. That was fun. I guess that's our show. So from yeah. everyone here at the After Buzz TV studios, myself, Sarah. Me. Follow us on Twitter. At You Can Call Me Skiff. It's now working. And at Sarah it's now, on the go. It is now working. And at, at Sarah on the go and on Insta, I'm the same handle at you can call me Skiff. And I am Sarah Bear 627 on Insta. Follow us. Yep. Love us, like us, retweet us. We love you. Tweet us. Yeah, tweet us. <sighs> Have a good week. We'll see you next week. <laughs> From Bing.com, executive producers Maria Menounos, Kevin Undergaro, Phil Svitek, and the entire AfterBuzz TV staff, we would like to thank you for listening to the AfterBuzz TV network. To watch or listen to other After shows and post comments or questions, be sure to visit AfterBuzzTV.com. I'm Sir Richard Wentworth, and this has been a presentation of AfterBuzz TV. Buzz, Buzz you later. later. The views expressed herein are those of the hosts only and do not necessarily reflect the views of AfterBuzz TV or its owners or principals.